Hello guys, today I want to quickly review and showcase a plugin for filament admin panel. So this is a page with sidebar to have something like this in your filament admin panel. And for those of you who are not familiar with filament, it's an admin panel based on Laravel and Livewire, a free tool which has a lot of content, plugins and community support. So it's growing almost day by day. And side note, we're living in pretty interesting times. So on Twitter, I replied to Dairy to Code with Dairy today about difference between the frameworks and programming languages. So this video is exactly an example of things I replied about. So there's PHP language, then there's framework Laravel, then there are tools on top of framework, which is Livewire. Is Livewire a framework? Is Alpine JS a framework? Probably. But then you have filament on top of Livewire. And what we're talking about today is a plugin for filament and they all work on top of each other depending on each other isn't that fascinating and of course i don't mention any other dependencies like symphony or spotty packages under the hood of many of them so philosophically speaking we're in this together and here's an example of a creation by ayman al hatami here from yemen let me demonstrate it to you so if you have filament admin panel here, I use his demo, by the way, which is public on GitHub, and I will link that. Actually, there is no need to link that. In the readme of the package, probably at the very bottom, there is a link to that demo project, so you can check it out yourself. So I've cloned it and tried to use it. So in the user resource, when you click view, this is what you can see on the left. For any user, you can edit the user, you can manage user with more fields, you can change their password, you can view user activities or records, and there's also a dashboard. So how to implement that? So a few steps that you need to do to use that package. Of course, Compose require, install that after you already have your filament and for example, use a resource for user list or it could be resource for any CRUD, for any model, Eloquent. And then you need to have pages for each of those things for edit, view, manage, and others. So each of them should be a page in user resource. Then in each of the page, you need to define record because that would be a parameter of that page. And then in that user resource, you need to define this sidebar function, which returns filament page sidebar, and then you list what is the navigation item and what should it return. So that's the basic functionality. And inside of that demo, here's the example. So same get pages, really similar to what I've shown you just now in the readme, but then things get more interesting. So there's the table, so that is irrelevant in our case. There's form, also irrelevant. But here we have the sidebar. Let me close my sidebar. So this is filament page sidebar make title and description. So you can customize, let me show you those two things. So title and description, title is record name and description is when it was created. And then navigation items, each of them is page navigation item with translatable titles, by the way, like user dashboard. And then you can choose icon and then you can choose when it is active. So this one user dashboard is now active because the condition is request route filament resources users dashboard from what i remember there is another syntax for that instead of action as there should be a route name or something i don't remember the exact syntax but totally possible to get that in a different way and then for each of them there are a few things again that you can customize is hidden when also returns true or false so there may be some condition where you want to hide some item and here one by one you create that list of navigation items also, there's badge, for example. So similarly to how Filament has badges here, you can also add badges here as well. So yeah, that's it. If you think about it, it's a pretty simple solution, but it was pretty complex to implement, I think, for the author, for Ayman. So thank you, Ayman, for this open source work for the community. And if you want to find out more about Filament or start with that in general, on Laravel Daily Com, if you search for Filament, there's a tag for Filament. I have one course so for very beginning if you haven't even started so there's practical course for two hours video then there's premium article with plugins but then there are quite a few free articles how to customize like dashboard widgets multi-tenancy work with unused files and a few more that i've shared over the last few months so i will put the link to that page in the video description below that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos